Maths is all around us. It's almost impossible to think of something that isn't made without the help of mathematics. Buildings, transport, technology, medicine, even clothes and food all rely on numbers, measurements and sums. Without maths, we wouldn't know who won a football game, or a game of tennis, or golf, or pretty much any game or sport, because the winners are decided using measurements and scores. In sports measured by time, maths has helped develop clocks that are so accurate that at the Olympics, some people have won by one thousandth of a second. But while measurements of scores and time are obvious, maths is also used in ways that we don't notice. It's used to study aerodynamics, the way air moves around things. Using this knowledge, clothes and shoes can be designed to help athletes go faster and balls can be shaped to affect the way they fly, fighting gravity and staying up in the air longer. That's why golf balls have little dimples on them. It is also needed to study the effect of water on swimmers and gravity on jumpers. Maths pops up again in statistics with graphs, charts, and diagrams used to improve training and to discover things like batting averages or where your favourite team is rated in a league. And it's used when designing a sports venue. From arranging the seating so that no matter where you sit you can see what's going on, to making sure that things like tennis courts, racetracks, swimming pools or games fields are built to standard sizes. This is especially important in professional or Olympic sports. Mathematics has also helped develop new technology, which can measure things like speed, heat, and even the vitamins and minerals lost in sweat during a game. From playing football at home to the sports stars in the biggest stadium, maths really is all around us.